Martin. Right, there you go. First four in. They are heavy. Luckily, Alex is strong enough to lift them on his own. So, how are you feeling? Glad it's over. Well, this has changed a bit. Let me show you. Good morning from Berries. We're tucked away right in the corner, over by the lintels and all the aggregates. You don't see that very often anymore, all the, all the loose aggregate bays. You still come and get loaded loose. And what we're here for, not lintels for a change, we're here for these. These are the troughs we keep talking about. So these are going to go up against the house. And these are going to take water away. These are instead of the aqua drains, slightly dearer, but they're going to work better for, for us. So we need nine of these, and they look very heavy. They look heavier than I thought they'd be. Oh. I thought they'd be about 100 mil deep, my, 70 uh, mil deep. My hands green? Oh, I don't know, green hands. Yeah, so we're gonna get these in the van now, uh, and then head up. <laughs> Bloody hell, they're gonna have to go on semi-dry concrete then, aren't they? Definitely. Yeah. Never done these before, so this is a challenge. They're not as heavy as the seam, but they're heavy. Yeah. All right, let's get nine of these in there and then get off to the job. Oh yeah, the mix is getting a bit of a wash today. Oh, they're heavy. And we're gonna have to see about maybe cutting these because they may be a bit too big to go in and like fit all the drains and stuff so we'll have to have a look at that but that's these picked up and we'll head to the toy shop now and we'll catch in a minute right we've arrived a quick pit stop at McDonald's, Alex for the bacon roll, I had a, a jam muffin, it was very nice. So yeah, we've just discovered, we're not too bad at this end where the door is, because the higher the better really, for less less step. But we've got to get down to that gully, the drains can't be adjusted. So these ones can all go in without being cut on just a nice thin concrete base. And the other side, probably from the soil pipe down to the gully, they're going to have to be cut down so they're not as deep, so we can get them down. It doesn't matter if it's slightly higher in the gully because we'll be forming the concrete, forming the, um, we'll be cutting either side of it and then forming it round with the uh, sand and cement to, to dish it into the gully so it falls in. So a little bit more digging. It's been raining overnight so all this has turned to shit, which is never good, never fun. Just glad we got all most of the digging done yesterday. And we've got um, the ton of MOT coming today from Fairwoods. So hopefully that comes sooner rather than later. So yeah, we'll um, get this bit all prepped, get a bit of concrete on. Yeah, it's, it's meant to get nicer today, so hopefully they're right. It's clear over there, so hopefully we're getting that. So let's get on to time-lapse and get this in. Happy? No, no, you're alright. Been a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, I think since we filmed last, the uh, fairwoods have been, obviously. Dropped us a ton of ballast off for the concrete so, and our cement. There's our cement, our ballast. 
mixer with concrete in ready for these, uh, these troughs. That's all dug out and prepped. That's for our first run up to the gully. And then we also had the um, we had a ton of MOT, which was um, instead of putting it over there, we asked the driver to kindly drip, swing it over here, cut the bag, and drop it right above the path where we're coming with it. And it's so much easier taking it off the, as everyone knows who spades this stuff, it's so much easier at not in a bag, especially MOT because it's 40 mil. 40 mil down, it's, it's rock hard to get out of the bag. So Alex has had that done in like 10 minutes. That's the, it's moved three quarters of a ton. He's had this done in no time. So that's our hardcore ready for our concrete path on top. And we've just got a bit more fettling to do here and we can start getting these these things in. It's good because I can get it whackered now before we start putting these in. You don't really want to put them onto concrete and then start whacking around them. So yeah, made up with that. It came just in time for us. That's enough talking then. Let's get the rest of this prepped up and get it whackered. Just got a bit to do around the corner where it's all high, so it just needs raking back and lowering, so, so it's got room for either concreting or flagging over the top. So we're um, catching a bit. I think we're filming. <laughs> right, there you go. First four in. They are heavy. Luckily Alex is strong enough to lift them on his own. And we'll just get them in together. And it's just hard getting them up. So we're perping them. So that we can um, get our fingers and drop them in. Because they are 250 wide. 125 deep. 900 long. Just solid lumps of concrete. So we've got the first one in. This is a straightforward one because we don't have to cook any of these. 170 cut there and then we're just going to dish it with mortar to dish it down into the gully and then the rest of it's concrete so yeah we're gonna have a bit of lunch now and get back to it after then catch you in a bit so how are you feeling glad it's over that was a uh, very tough two hours nearly I bet it was two hours cutting <clears throat> because obviously like we said this morning these were a lot deeper than we expected and had to be cut down by, I'll show you now, by this much. So, and as you can see, that's where the, that's how deep the saw went both sides. That thing is a trooper and it struggled today. I think Dad said uh, that the blade actually started melting because 
and just how much we had to cut. It was that thick and tough. But it's not used to cooking for sustainably for that. No, no, no cooking. Like that. No, but so obviously because we couldn't film any of that because it was way too dusty. It was just dust, a lot of dust, and that was with us using a buckets of water for water suppression. That and just to cool the blade down, like that getting that hot. But there we go. There's how it looks. Obviously, these little gaps we're going to fill up. I put a bit of concrete down there and we're just going to sand cement it, same there. And that should stop any flooding now as it all goes right into our little drain. Yeah, a lot bigger than we expected them to be. I thought they were going to be 4 inch. But once that concrete goes in, you'll probably be able to tell that they're there. Which is the idea. So, I think my suggestion now is we're going to get that tarmac done so that's going off. And we can start packing some boards up then. And then if we've got any time left, we can maybe get throw half a mix of concrete on or something. I'm going to patch around these gullies now. Yeah. The concrete that's left over. Yeah. Point got a bit left over, so we'll patch that up and then... And then it'll be that and whatever else we can get done today. So, happy days. Me from here. So that took a long ass time to do because it was that cold, the actual asphalt, that it was solid. So I was on my hands and knees for 50 minutes, just breaking it apart with my hands and like scattering it across. My uh, hands are absolutely wrecked, and uh, my pair of gloves are absolutely ruined. But I hope I put enough down so it does get in that uh, whacking now. And then I'll give you a quick show of the uh, the drainage curbs in um, now that they're finished. And then we'll uh, then we'll probably catch you tomorrow for the concreting. So I'll give you a quick look. So it's been a very, there we go, it's been a very dragish day today, it's dragged a lot but we've, uh, we're in a good place for tomorrow now at least, now it's just concrete, tarmac is done, all those drainage curves are done and now we can just get that finished so we'll catch you tomorrow for that, see you there. Right, this is going to be a shocker. It's quarter to twelve, Friday the 3rd of March. This was supposed to be done yesterday. But we fell behind again. It's getting a regular occurrence, this falling behind bit. We've, we've underestimated the materials as well. We've used nearly a ton up and we haven't even got this end done yet. Although this end is a lot wider than the rest of it. This is 1.2 wide. And getting on for four inches deep so I spoke to the customer and we're going to square this up to here and start again tomorrow we're going to get delivered surely concrete I've worked out a bit to a cube so they'll just bl blitz it along here for me probably too wet <laughs> and then I'll just work my way out because Alex is near tomorrow um, yeah I'm working my way back out here and out there so the plan is now finish that bit as quick as we can. I thought I was hoping to get done for dinner. It's quarter to twelve now. Oh. <laughs> get all those bricks loaded into the van and take them back to brick the brick store because they're not open on a Saturday and we're not here Monday working at a job in Holmeskirk on Monday. So they need to go today or it's going to be next week when they go. So yeah, and a bit of a tidy up. But we just need to get that last bit in and skedaddle. So I'll just stay on time lapse. You've missed quite a bit of it so far, but. Um, I've set all my screeds up from my heights and my levels. So that falls back to the... This falls back to here. Everything falls back here, basically. This sort of road goes off that way, but we've, we've just got to follow what's there. Because the um, customer's going to crazy pay that bit himself, so we'll probably take that, that low bit and level it off. 
and then I'm just going to tidy that gullet when I'm done and clean the manhole. So, do you want to put to pour that water down? Let's try our little trough. more <laughs> there we go in there and out there and onwards that's doing its job because all this water off is going to end up in there so I'm glad, glad that's sorted out so back to time lapse, let's get this little bit boxed off. There you go, one o'clock. It's about 100 mil that concrete, so it's swallowed a lot of our materials up. So we spoke to the customer and we've ordered concrete from Chorley Concrete for tomorrow. So this will be getting blitzed in tomorrow, so it's going to be hard work on my own. But I won't be borrowing any, I'll just be levelling it. We just see it getting a bit overwhelmed by it all. <laughs> but um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're going to bring it through, probably about an inch four. 20 mil from back to back to the trough, so so just the water doesn't sit, and it all ends up in that trough, <laughs> and it all end up in that gully. I think putting a brush finish on that just for a bit of grip, so it needs to go off a bit before it gets brushed off. Yeah. It's one o'clock. We need to get all those bricks in the van and skedaddle. So we'll time lapse is loading all these bloody bricks and catch you in a bit. brick ready to get taken back <laughs> we give them a ring and we explained and at first they're like oh no <laughs> they thought they were just coming up to pick up one pack and we said no 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 because we're open that was a no no because we're open yeah and we're like no 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 we'll bring them to you i was ready to about fight somebody but there we go so we'll get these dropped off and then we'll get back here for the for the concreting again oh.
quick intro after that manic session. Ten past nine, Saturday the fourth of March. <clears throat> well, that took about ten minutes to get in. That was good. Bit of a pain this morning because I forgot my phone. Went back to take my phone. When I got to the house, it rang, and the lads said they were on the way. Fifteen minutes away.
like two o'clock news just on there, so there's the path. Just got back from me, lovely old custom made me, made me a nice burger and found cat prints in it. I'm sat up in the van. I'm sat up in the van, cat's been in it already, never even saw it. So I'm gonna have to, have to, have to get a bit of travel not to do there anyway yet to put a finish on it because I wet that up. Because it's really going off and then I come through here. I'm supposed to be putting a slope in but um, when we checked the gradients it was too steep too steep. So I've formed steps up as we've gone. The treads aren't exactly the, the treads aren't exactly the same size but they're very close but the risers are all the same size. 100, 100, 100, 100. So you've got a one out onto there, then one, two, three, and up onto the pavement. That was hard because I've never done that before. It's all stuff I've never done before. I wasn't expecting to be doing steps. I thought it was going to come with a slope. But no, it's never that straightforward. That was hard because I've never done that before. It's all stuff I've never done before. I wasn't expecting to be doing steps. I thought it was going to come with a slope. But no, it's never that straightforward. So I'm bloody knackered yet. Now, Customs been and got the um, cavity formers for me, so I've got that to do yet. Put all the formers in and cut the, cut the groove in the floor for the shower waste and just generally tidy up so I'm going to be here a while yet I was hoping to be done early I thought, be, I thought I'd have this done in a couple of hours but with having the bad hips I can't get up and down so it's been absolutely agony um, Alex, is, Alex is having a day off a fully, thoroughly deserved day off he, he had two days off in Feb so um, this is just a bit harder than I thought it would be but that's just been um, this job all along. <laughs> the only bit we, we that went straightforward and quite easy for us was the brickwork and the blockwork. So anyway, enough moaning. I'm going to get this top step finished now. We, oh yeah, I've run out of concrete. So I've just knocked a batch up in the barra. So that's going in there now and we're going to get it all levelled up. The, the steps are done just roughly because I'm not sure how the customer's going to finish up the side of the steps. I think he said he's going to slope this, take that, that edge off there and just slope down here. But um, we'll see. That's due to go. And then, yeah, that's it. Top step in, and then cavity formers cut and home. And just, you might just see that just at the far end there, the, the customers put the uh, brush finish on the concrete for me. So the, the trough turned out well. It doesn't look as bad now. It's all concrete, which is a thought. I thought it was. But um, yeah. So that's going to get all the water away. Everything's going to end up in that gully. That there gully. So quite pleased that, that turned out. It was just, again, twice as hard putting them in. If you look close, we're like one and a half courses down from damp there. And if you follow it along, it goes down to just below a course. So that's probably got 50, 60 mil fall in it. 50 mil fall. Same the other side, 50 mil. It doesn't gush away, but it gets away. That's the main thing. Anyway, let's get back into this. first time seeing this because I was obviously I was off but damn <laughs> this is lovely so nice to uh, I'm actually in my trainers at the moment no uh, squelchy crap all over my feet so just about, just about yeah bloody hell <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just uh, give this a bit of a spray tax what? spray tax spray it's in the back it's in the stick right ah bit of this because um, obviously it was like six o'clock by the time we nearly finished all this so I just used up three bags and we've whacked that down so we're gonna get it, Customs had it in the house to get it. yeah yeah because it was very cold and I had to uh, really go at it with me bare ends and it was bloody knackering it was so it's a bit warmer now a bit more easy to 
to break up. So I'm going to get that done, get packed up, and then that's us. It'll be an outro time. So we'll get you set up just while we get this stuff finished up now. So now, finally, <laughs> we are truly finished. Walking's just done. Well, this was, there's quite literally been blood, sweat and tears in this one. <laughs> but, the brickwork and blockwork part was a dream. It was just the rest of it that was a nightmare. <laughs> Hello, this is a quick one before the outro. We've already filmed the outro, but this is gonna go in before the outro. We are currently sat in, can you see that? McDonald's car park in Leyland, and it's bouncing down. The cold weather hasn't, hasn't arrived yet, it's just the wet weather at the moment. But we're, we're all done, we've been at an early lunch because I suppose we're just feeling a bit smug really because that job, as hard as it was, get your in there, there you go. As hard as that job was, we just worked through. We were at weekends, we just kept going. I kept saying we're working with the weather. So we were just waiting for a bad day to have a day off. But luckily we managed to get finished. The path was done Saturday. And then Alex has been back with me today to pick the whacker up. No. Pick the mixer up. Finish the tarmacking off. Pack the van up. And just do a bit of um, repair work on the steps where we took us with... Um, a bit of repair work on the steps where we damaged them, taking the shuttering out. So that's covered up from the rain. So, for once, the weather hasn't beaten us. We've beaten the weather because this is, we've finished. We're away, and the weather's turned now. So um, we've got hospital this afternoon for this one, and then we've got a work job tomorrow, which is an inside job, and then the rest of the week's forecast pretty cold. So we'll see how it goes. So I'll hand you over to the outro. Oh, but yeah, so 28 tons later, there it is, with a nice concrete path and a nice little concrete drainage system. Plank? Where? No. It's a fence panel. That is the end of this very long and uh, sometimes painful <laughs> extension saga. If you enjoyed all of that, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more of this, then be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help and we, we greatly appreciate all the support. We have another extension pencil in for definite coming up. Oh, there we go, another extension pencil in. And just a few little, um, got a little hospital job to do when the weather's like this. So, this has been Bricklaying with Steve and Alex, and we will see you in the next one. This has changed a bit. Let me show you. Customers have been well busy. Look at that. Wow. That looks amazing. And Robbie and Robbie have been busy. Very cool.
little dry in here now. Just show you the roof. That's amazing that. Made such a nice job of that. We did see him in berries, but yeah, there's the um, there's that path. Wow, it looks fantastic! And no water holding, all, all ending up in that gully, as it should be. Chuffed with that. So there you go. 